Ray, welcome to this week's New Faith Reading. So <clears throat> today is the sun, kind of the topic. So rather than me telling you necessarily what to do, I'm asking for you to share your stories with me and your experiences and like what, what just works and what do you think or feel about this. So um, I was talking to a friend and she was talking about how um, she was a mom one of her childcare providers often tells her like to slow down and breathe. And for my friend, she was like kind of triggered by that. She's like, I just get annoyed and I don't want to stop and breathe. And I could, I could totally relate to that. And I imagine that you can too. And it's like, even when the person saying breathe is coming from that place of like just looking out for you and loving you and wanting the best for you, there's that place inside of us somewhere that goes like, no, it's like, don't tell me what to do. And so I'm curious how much of that feeling in us is that place of like knowing deep within ourselves how to take care of ourselves. And that the truth is there are some moments that require a bit more pizzazz and a bit more push and vigor and there are more moments that require a bit more smooth, slow stillness. And when we sort of get into that feeling of like, somebody else knows better than me, it's irritating. Um, and also if you're the person trying to gently remind someone to breathe, it's like, are you coming from that place of quiet and stillness? It's just an interesting topic, you know? It's like there's so many different nuances, but it's each person in each moment is gonna have a different reaction. So I'm not trying to label or say it's always one way. It's a good opportunity to check in with you and say, huh, am I telling her to breathe because I actually need to breathe? And is it possible for me to breathe and be relaxed in this moment, even though this person is clearly very busy and overwhelmed right now? Flip side. Can I continue to go about my stream with the focus that I have, whatever that focus is, and take the time when I need the time, or when I allow myself the time to breathe? And is that more fulfilling doing it myself than just giving into what they say? Because how apt are you really to do it when they say that to you? Like, or are you just doing it because they asked you to do it versus really letting yourself breathe and slow down? Yeah, and there's also that place of reevaluation, like, huh, is it true? Am I really putting more vigor into this moment than is necessary? So it's just a way of in that moment letting that cue of someone else telling you to breathe or to be quiet or to chill out, use that opportunity to really kind of just check in and navigate what's going on inside. So I would love to hear your comments and your tricks and tools and what do you use to help keep yourself feeling calm and centered even when life is crazy? Because I think that all of us can benefit from that and something that I notice is that I actually benefit most when the people around me are calm and just totally okay with wherever I am. So it's something to, to kind of also play into and notice is that we, when you, when I, when he, when she, when they, are each in their own self, in their own energy, it's easier to be for everyone. We work better together as a team when we're each doing our own goal, when we're each in our own center. So supporting that, starting with ourselves. Okay. Come over to alyssaray.com.